City manager is running for mayor. Oh yeah. Yeah, just and the mayor is running for council. Mayor's running for council. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh really? You switched it up? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably a nice way to sort of guy, you know, just sort of sail into this sunset. Yeah. You know, sure just come on to council because yeah. you got all the information. It'd probably be pretty easy. Well, let's, let's get started. Right. Mark sure. can join us. Yeah. Uh, so it's a call to meeting to order. We have uh, we uh, red lights on. Mm -hmm. um, so the first item of business is approval of tonight's <coughs> agenda. Do I have a motion? Just have one late item. It's an information item. All right. So it will be um, number 6.2. And it came from council. Uh, we need to ask workshop report. Was presented by Council of the to Council and Council Resolve to have all of the committees receive this information. So I'll actually revise and send it out. There's a link 
Okay. If you'd like me to print the report, I can do that and put it before you leave the building tonight. Sure. One. It's a lot of pages. <coughs> well, it's probably 40 or 50. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. It's not that big. It's pretty big. I mean, I've got a hard copy. It's, I have it up to 20. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a little booklet. We made it specifically reasonably short. Yeah. Is this well, a workshop yeah. that David, you and Dennis? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> it was 20, I'd like to... Uh, where is a copy, uh, Steph? I'll go get it. Where is it? Uh, I don't have a hard copy. I can just put this link, though. Print a couple. Yeah. 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 Maybe just pass them around and see if anybody really wants one. It's fascinating. They better. Yeah. It's an excellent report. Yes. <laughs> I understand it was, it was a good, a good exercise, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll add that to uh, tonight's agenda as item 6.2. So I don't I have a motion to uh, for approval of tonight's agenda. David Rich, second. Yeah. David Hawking, all in favor? Thank you. Um, so, and then the <coughs> item is adoption of the minutes of our meeting of May 23rd. Which are to match. Oh, yes. Do I have a motion to adopt the minutes? Christy, second. Cass, all favor? Thank you. We are carried. Um, public comments. I see the public is not mm -hmm. wants to answer <laughs> any, any presence tonight. Um, <coughs> so we can leap right into council referrals. Um, and I guess you know, we'll start leaving off the day. Can you give us a little? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is oh. that us? That's us. <laughs> There's There's a a You're watching us on TV. <laughs> sure, so this referral um, is a council-initiated rezoning of a municipally owned property um, located just off of Salal Road. So um, now you know where sort of Veterans Park is. Um, so it's this larger rural zoned property. Um, this is Salal Road coming off of Sunset, um, and this is Bishop's Hill, so if you're coming by foot, I guess, up the hill. But, um, and this is a, a road that seems to have many names, but in our system it's Athletic Park Drive. <laughs> um, and so this is sometimes known as, yeah, sometimes known as Athletic yeah. Park property, and right now Veterans Park in the in the rezoning. So it's a property that the municipality got um, as part of the Cowan Point rezoning. And so the initial plan in the OCP identifies it as a school and athletic field site, or at least it identifies this sort of general area as, as what would happen here. Um, so in 2017, um, as some of you probably remember, um, Gary Anderson came to council and wanted to propose that this be used as a um, park that they would, volunteers would create for the Loggers Sports Show. Um, and so council issued a temporary use permit for their recreation uses and also for the Public Works Yard. So Public Works had been using um, the southern portion of the, of the lot as a sort of an auxiliary works yard. Um, so council issued a temporary use permit to govern those uses. Um, in 2017 for a two year term it expires June of 2019. And it can be renewed once. And it can be renewed. So this for, time, for two years, not two or it can be renewed renewed, I guess, for two additional years. And now the um, local government act, act allows three years. So if it was renewed, council could then just do it again for a three year term. Like it can be essentially a new permit would be issued, but it could be council could could do that again. Um, but in uh, I think July of, or June maybe June of this year, uh, a delegation came proposing <coughs> this golf as part of some of the uses on this site, and council at that point said, okay, rather than um, saying, let's do it, you know, rather than thinking about renewing a temporary use permit, let's start a um, rezoning initiative and have staff bring a rezoning application forward. <coughs> so in terms of temporary use permit right now, what it does is it says, this is the public works yard, is this area in here, um, this is the area for outdoor assembly use, so for events, um, and the rest of it in the temporary use permit is just designated as park. Um, there's a riparian zone that comes down one side of the property as well. Now, is that the actual area that they've been using for the activity area? Um, because I, they, it's trying, kind yeah. of hard to figure out how, yeah. you know, on, on the land, how that works. Yeah, so I believe the first year <clears throat> that was defined. I don't know since then. I think they've expanded, and I don't know if they still fit. They have not expanded further 
into the riparian zone, yeah. but I'm not entirely, you know, they may, it may be slightly outside those boundaries. It has a different shape than the blue outline on the aerial photo. Right. So this is just showing the southern part, part of the lot itself. So, oh, this, I see. so we're showing up to about here. Got it. Of okay. this. So this is essentially this oh, is yeah, the work there. Yeah, yeah. 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 There are, you can't start this. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. It's there. Uh, right. So this was the council motion. So currently in the in the OCP, <coughs> it's like Cowan Point Comprehensive Development Area CDA one, and then in the the description of that, it talks about it being used for school athletic fields. Um, in the land use bylaw, it's zoned rural residential three, so it allows residential uses of dwelling. It allows um, agriculture, horticulture, and kennel, whatever else we allow in, in rural zones. Why is the zone so disparate from the OCP descriptive? I don't know. Other than yeah, they're, they're they're really, they're really rezone. Yeah. How many miles apart? Yeah. Right. Yeah, other than, I mean, the, the yeah, the OCP. Yeah, I, I don't have a good answer. <laughs> Um, so essentially what, what staff have proposed to council for that introduction and we're, we're looking for a comment on um, is essentially they're looking at, okay, actually split zoning the property and having the different designations. So um, designate m the majority of it in the OCP as park um, with a portion of it as industrial for the um, industrial medium for the works here at the same as our um, the recycling center essentially and rezone the rest of it for a multi-use activity park. Yeah, and that's essentially it. It's sort of talk through, okay, what, what would the zone be? Generally, we don't favor split zone parcels. It's something we try to avoid. We end up with some, but it's not favored. Um, and we try to talk through, okay, what are other options? Other options would be essentially to, to, to rezone it to, with a goal to subdivide it, so to subdivide it into the different pieces. You could do it as a CD zone and have different uses within the CD zone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, just following from the yeah. descriptor of the OCP, <coughs> does, uh, does uh, changing that description to municipal park and changing the zoning to multi-use activity park and industrial um, uses, does that preclude the concept of that at some point being becoming um, a school? Um, is that a difficult shift back? It would be a <coughs> shift back. For sure. Yeah. Um, so that's as part of this this initial step, I think, would be consulting with the school board, essentially to say, do you have intentions of, I know sort of when this was done, that was the thinking it will need to be opening another school on the west side of Bowen. Right. And maybe it might not be, site. I mean, it could be, for instance, I don't see or something under a different, yeah. Yeah. Under a different flag, different banner. Yeah. Um, I just, um, is conceptually, I kind of get the idea that there's a piece of that there's a parcel of property that yeah. uh, could be uh, could be used for school in the future. Yeah. Um, as things densify, that might make even more sense. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether um, I'm wondering about how prudent it is to move it in a completely different direction. Yeah. Um. I was wondering about things densify the idea of another school, yes, but that's pretty hard to get to. And uh, I mean, it is geographically quite close to the Adams Road area, but it's up, up considerably. Right. 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 And there's right. no road right now because it could be a road, I presume there's an allowance. Uh, well, there was a road there. Well, I'd say Bishop's Hill is the road. Bishop's Hill, but this breaks off. No, the other one is here or this way. You can come up Sunset. I'm going that way, but it's a but long that, way from yeah. the oh, way yeah. anyway. Oh yeah, that's a long way. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no like alternate route through here. It'd be up. It would be actually <coughs> removing that gate, I guess, and getting a yeah. gondola into the school bus. What's the name of that road? Because that, that road there was the one that was supposed to connect to the bottom of that line of park road. Yeah, it's um this one. What's the name of that? It's um is this is this Willie's document? And it's got the big the big easement. I mean, it's Willie's Way. Yeah. Yeah, off to the right. Willie's yeah. Way. Yeah. Is it Willie's Way? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. right. And there are houses along there kind of to the end. And yeah. It is. yeah. Yeah. And then it looks like Athletic Park Drive continues to about here. Yeah. So about as far as you get. 
they talked about it once and the people just went absolutely yeah. haywire. Yeah. Yeah, but you know they bought the property knowing that it was a yes. that it was a designated road. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> <clears throat> um, any further discussion? So back to the school. So was the school board involved in the discussions to put that as a school site, or was we know? Yeah, I mean, I've looked through the files and I don't see it as like a central. I think it was more seen as terms of like when Cowan Point development was going ahead and saying, well, do you want to add all these houses? Yeah. You know, it would be good to think you had time to put in a school site designated, but I can't see that it was driven by the school board. Would it be, yeah, so it, you'd have to rezone it back again if a school yeah. right. went. But if there's not going to be, if it's just a, um, there's no structures on the municipal park, like what, what is proposed now? We make it into a municipal park, and what is proposed? Like, then people like yeah. I mean, no, it's right now you can build housing. Right. With the, current, with the current. Yes, but in the in the, <coughs> the park one, you can't. Right. Yeah, I mean, in terms of proposed from council, I mean, essentially, it's you know, it's the field that's there now that potentially then would have zoning for events. So whether the logger's portion wants to continue there, um, or whether they move back to Crypto Park. You know, they could do it, and then we've got a proposal for disc golf field, but I don't think beyond that, there's not plans for... A golf field? Disc golf. Disc golf. Disc golf. You don't know about disc golf. No, I've never... Oh, come on. Where are you? Don't need that. Don't need clubs or anything. Um, what the, the industrial municipal yeah. industrial what yeah. what's planned for there i mean why why is that designation even there? good question <clears throat> how did it get there yeah yeah i mean that, that's the longer so in terms of what's proposed there i mean essentially it's proposed to continue to be you know essentially an auxiliary satellite. public work satellite public works yard do they they don't use it for anything they use it um they use it for storage and they use it for even for like salt storage in the winter so, as Bob said, essentially it's like to come from public works. Like if there's if the public works area is their only salt depot on the island, yeah. then they have great trouble doing the west side because essentially somebody does a run out right. and then they come all the way back and they, they load up and they do. So essentially having the second one on the west side allows them to operate better. So they, they value having a, like a west side public works yard. It's a great use for right next to a repairing zone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ask what a yeah. WASP development permit area is. Sure, it's um, water watershed aquifer stream protection area. Oh, so it's our oh I thought it was white Anglo Saxon. That sounds like the whole island. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so, there, uh, just to, uh, to confirm uh, what Kirsty said, there, so there are no structures permitted in a multi use section of the park? Or limited structures um, or? Yeah, they, it would permit, I mean, essentially accessory structures. Let me just try to find the zone. Most of our zones, like our park zones, allow, yeah, structures auxiliary too, so it would allow like gazebo or shelter. Right. But not a, um, like I said, it, it's, it, it if it goes to municipal park and there's not a whole bunch of you know big structures, then it's pretty easy to, um, if the need arises, to change it again. Like it's it allows it. Yeah. To right. right. So um, so then just to the to the split zoning, the industrial medium. What would that worst case? What kind of factories we're going to have next to our park? <laughs> Public works yard, transfer station, recycling depot, compost facility, cottage mm -hmm. industry. Well, it's certainly in, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Right? Yeah. So, it, like, I can't see it harming the neighbors. <clears throat> no, I, I mean, I guess the, mm -hmm. the, the thrust of it is that it, it solves a, a bit of an issue. Temporary use permits really shouldn't be used. For this kind of 
think mm -hmm. that's my sense, right? Um, and and there's have been no other um, groups or coming looking to, for some uh, some other use on the property apart from the frisbee players. No, I mean I think when we had the compost working group and right. they had done a study. I, I think it was one of the sites they looked at more because they were looking at um, right. municipally owned properties. Um, and I don't think they liked it, partly because it's not central. Right. <clears throat> All right. Any further questions, discussion, David? Uh, since this is municipal land, and a municipality can pretty well use it any way they want at this point. Is it necessary that the area be rezoned? In order to accommodate the uses that are being, that are current and proposed for the land, it needs to have a different zone designation. Or it could, according to what Daniel has said, for the next three years, they could continue to operate under a temporary use permit and still have the loggers event and whatever. But then something would need to happen because you're going to do it once. You only, you only renew once on a temporary use permit. And when you when you're allowed to renew it once, right? I mean, it was two years the first time. Yeah. Can you not renew it for five years? Apparently not. Three. No. Years so you have the permit and you renew it again, and then beyond that, like the municipality could then apply them for a new. So in theory, people can have temporary use permits that they they apply for. They have a perpetual they get temporary renewed. use permit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's often used like for like gravel pits on crown land or something you just keep uh -huh. in kid that way once it would just keep rolling over and you right. just so they're temporary use but they last this is a, a use that the municipality is the sole uh, person in charge mm -hmm. so uh, theoretically they could either not bother rezoning it or rezone it for five years rolling over but they not so I mean, I guess, like me as the planner would say, what we're doing should be matching our land use. Okay. Whether or not, just because council can rezone it, I would say, well, you know, if everybody, you know, we, if nothing else, we have to follow our own zoning bylaw. We can't ignore it. Right. Um, yeah. Um, so what's, what's planning's position on this? You. Do you favor continuing temporary use permit or do you I, I would favor zoning it. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say we've really struggled with it in that in general I think we prefer like not, not the C D zone part because we have so many, which is right. you know, a little overkill. And partly even the idea of like generally parkland it's nice not to be in the C D zone because then you're looking even just for visibility on the map, it's like you can see where the parks are, it sort of doubles up the park map and stuff, right. rather than hiding stuff within it. Um, and then I would say there's some appetite that, that the, the industrial be defined so we don't zone the whole property and say, well, it's all can either be public's works yard or park. Yeah, because little, this would allow unlimited one or the other, right? Yeah, and so, so the idea of actually defining sort of the, that industrial medium in a set area is nice because then it gives some pinning down of it to say, mm -hmm. it's well, not I like- I you can do that within the buck, right? You, you could say yeah. X number of acres are yeah. this use. Yeah. It gets complicated then, like if you were ever to subdivide, it would probably be an impediment because then when you subdivide and you subdivide a parcel into two zones, each of the each of the zone pieces have to has to be the same size as the minimum size in the bylaw. Right. Um, but <clears throat> but that's okay. Um, and then in terms of that too, then we're thinking well, we probably don't want to have to subdivide it. Just to met, like to somebody out the public works piece, but rather leave it as one parcel. So, so there is not yet a draft version of the bylaw. There's bylaw. not a draft version, so it was it was to come to um, council essentially to introduce it in Dakota, the APC, and then the parks and trails right. to talk about the parks, <coughs> what park category they wanted before we draft the bylaws or come back for readings. Um, do we have clarity about the size of the the um, brown bit and the green bit? Um, I mean, can we, yeah. can our recommendation include limitation in size yeah. of the key to? I know that was a question, and I got when she brought it, and I think I looked up at the time, and it's sort of, it's like three or four acres, but 
I don't know with certainty. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <coughs> What's the general consensus around the table? Is it the commission generally moving towards thinking this is a reasonable idea to rezone the parcel and the split zone is okay? And um, maybe I, I wouldn't mind some additional wording, perhaps saying that um, substantial buildings or something, we, we don't want substantial buildings to allow flexibility on into the future if the island needs this one for other purposes or something, so just so that it's not a, a, a one-way street and somebody puts a million dollar park building on and then you can't do anything else with it. If it's a million dollar park building, we can do something. <laughs> <laughs> sort of say, zone it, and then say, not allow any large buildings. No, I think, I think the, the um, council would have to approve the, that. The uh, P2 zone <coughs> itself is the inherent limitation. And I, you know, I don't think we can, without going what back and, re and re redefining, well, uh, Dan just read it. Wait, can you read that again, P2? Well, so P2 allows, Open Space, Interpretive Information Center, Athletic Park, Hard Surface Courts, Outdoor Assembly, Play Fields, Playgrounds, Other Outdoor Recreation Facilities, Nature Protection. And then it allows buildings and structures accessory to permitted uses. Um, so an interpretive center could be a million dollar building. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, I guess I mean, it, it could be converted into a pretty nice elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> but these, these kinds of decisions are going to be entirely up to council sometime in the future, aren't they? Uh, it's not as though we're opening the land up to developers who are going to say, hey, we have the right to put up a... No, that's correct. That's correct. As long as, yeah, because the ownership will stay with the meeting and lease it. Can they not? Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Well, that's what they could. They to someone else? I don't yeah. know. Even yeah. though it's own park, like... But yeah, to for a park, like because somebody have to rezone it though. We would to, have to, to for park. Oh, not for park. Like if somebody, if somebody, like you're allowed to do all yeah. these sports. So if somebody, the community could lease it to someone to put up a hockey rink. Yeah, I mean to lease the land for more than three years, we would have to subdivide it. Oh, okay. So it'd be one thing, I guess. It's like we could enter into a partnership with somebody and say, "We'll build a hockey rink, and then you can use it, and you pay us money over time, or something." That would be just otherwise. <laughs> So my name is beneficial. That's what you yeah. yeah. right? So maybe what we is like, does the APC support the rezoning, but you know, encourage, are you encouraging future flexibility or are you encouraging like consultation now with the school board to ensure? No, I think, I think encouraging future flexibility yeah. Yeah. Uh, and encouraging a limitation on the uh, size of the industrial component okay. to its current size. Okay. One acre. No. <laughs> how, how are we doing next step? Okay, the advisory planning commission support the proposed rezoning of Veterans Park to OCP, P, Municipal Park, and Industrial, all that, with the following comments. Um, the APC encourages future flexibility and limitation on uh, the size of the industrial component to its current area. To its current area. Yeah. Wait a minute, what if the municipality feels they need a little more room? We're only, we're, <laughs> we're only recommending and encouraging. Yeah. <clears throat> because the, the split zoning does, I don't know, you, you can't, well you can define, roughly define some yeah. area within it. Yeah. Yeah, like we'll define, we'll have a bylaw map that would define the area. Yeah. Having said that, on the ground, and if Bob said, well I need, Two more trees. It can be hard to pin it down. Right. It's not like there's there won't be right. survey points or something, but but it would be there in terms of right. yeah. the general area. Yeah, within a few hundred feet. Yeah. Really. yeah. <laughs> um, so we need to encourage future flexibility. 
Maybe after saying courage is limitation on industrial. So future okay, so future flexibility of the P2 component uh, for you for uh, changes of use on the P2 parcel. Future flexibility for changes of use on the P2 parcel. And so please don't let the tax and hatchet guys <laughs> do anything that can be moved. That's right. <laughs> exactly. They suddenly become log mansion builders. <laughs> Um, Logger sport. Yeah. Log cabin. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> How's that now, Scott? Uh, that the sorry, APC support proposed rezoning to all those. The following comment um, encourage, the APC encourages future flexibility regarding changes of use on the P2 parcel and encourages limitation on the size of the industrial component to its current area. I think that's fine. Yeah. Do I have a motion to that effect? Kirsty, second. David Rinch, further comments, questions? Uh, all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Moving on. Um, back to the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Uh, yes, this uh, recreation area, what are we going to do for water? Will they, can I? Will they be allowed to put in a well? If they put in a swimming pool first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I think the municipality could drill a well. They could. Because there's, there's, you know, there's repairing its own right along. Yeah. You put a well in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I believe for the Veterans Park, they were bringing in water. I guess my understanding there's no well on site right now. There are no, no facilities on the site. Yeah. <coughs> no facilities for waste either. All right. Yeah. So the board of bodies are just there for the thing. For the event. Yeah. And then they just come. Yeah, they're the event friends to them. Yeah. Because that certainly is something that <coughs> the Frisbee people, they need to have a board of bodies. Yeah, it sort of discourages <coughs> prolonged use, I guess. Hmm? Yeah, it discourages prolonged <laughs> use, you're there for a bit, and then you leave. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Well, don't clear the shrubs. Yeah. Um, so, moving on to the next item, which is the docks. Um, and then we're showing the minutes of WG1. Um, <coughs> Big one. Oh my gosh, that's a big document. That's a big one. Uh-uh. 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 Uh-u
the, if the dock itself is up above when you're at zero tide, right. when you're high tide, thank you, yes. When you're high tide, if there's room for somebody to walk along the foreshore and pass under the dock, that that's, you're not impeding pedestrian access in the rest of the beach. So, so for example, um, when I was thinking of the summer, at Tuns like Tunstall Beach, for example, has the Tunstall Bay Community Association dock. Um, goes from the high portion, it goes over the beach, and it goes out to the float. So we would have said that that does not impede pedestrian access along the beach, just for sort of context. So um, Council's strategic priorities, Island Plan 2018. Um, priority A3, talk about protecting the shoreline. Um, there'll be further work on dock regulation um, and steps to be taken. They'll say we'll continue to work on dock regulation by drafting a bylaw that maps where docks are permitted. And the outcome, how it looks on November 1st, 2018. Uh, bylaws have been updated to reflect greater protection for public beaches in the recreational foreshore. So, um, April 23rd, 2018, um, Council made the motion that Council instructs staff to begin, begin preparation of the bylaw to amend land use bylaw 57 to prohibit dock construction across beaches, recreational foreshore, and adjacent to public accesses to the ocean. Um, so then July 9th, um, Kathy Lalonde brought a report and a bylaw, so Council at that point gave Bylaw 466 read first reading, and that they directed staff to undertake referrals and report back to council. Um, subsequent to that, September 4th, um, and staff then brought a bylaw to the bylaw received second reading at the September 4th meeting, um, and we've now referred it to the ABC for comment and to the Islands Trust. Um, so, just some background the OCP has a dock policy, and um, policy 67 says. Um, private moorage will not impede pedestrian access along the beach portion of the foreshore. The siting of new private moorage will be undertake, undertaken in a manner consistent with the orientation of neighboring private moorage and the sensitive to views and other effects on neighbors. Uh, the land use bylaw will set out detailed provisions related to siting, setback, size, configuration, width, materials, and projections for private moorage and follow best practices. And, do, do, do. Oh. and so the other one that Council had talked about was providing comment on the ramifications of changing the wording from what we currently say no 